Well, there's a lovely house for sale here. And you may think I've gone into the property business called Blue Haze. Lovely old house. But the most gorgeous thing about the house is it's right next to the pub, the new inn where we're playing today. Now, I'll take you inside to show you where we're playing. And it's in Shepton Gorge, which is a lovely village in Dorset. So let me just take you in. You can see people eating the Sunday lunch. Very busy staff. And lady, and we're over in the far corner, which is a bit right. So let me go down there and turn it around the other way so you can see it back the other way so you can see where we are. And the good thing is we're not far away from the bar, which is very important. So here we go. Uh, you're all far too kind. Normally about this stage we're getting onions and tomatoes thrown at us as well. It used to be that that was the rubbish, but now we take that home and make ourselves a look of vegan salad with it, you know. Yeah. It's not happening anymore. Uh, no. It's all going wrong for us, really. I've decided I'm going to go on my holidays with Andrea. We're going to go to Tenerife. Yeah. Tenerife. Go to Tenerife, yeah. Oh, right. I lie in the beach. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a lady who's had the best summer ever being Irish. It's I didn't burn. It was great. You still have to wear all the sunblock and the hats and stuff like that. But look at the room's gone quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it never got above 30 degrees besides two days on the whole of the summer. I know. She was delighted with it. He brought me to Weymouth on one of the days where it was very hot. <laughs> and he's that tight, he's from Manchester. We parked down the Preston end. You know, we, you know, you can get the old three. So I'm walking in and going, oh, Jesus, getting hot, you know. Oh, thick it. Drank all my water and go, oh, God, I'm getting hot. And he loves it. He's like a kitten. He springs to life, 40 degrees, and he'd be jumping like a, like a monkey through the... Anyway, I'm flaking. So anyway, we got halfway there and he says, right, I'm going in for a dip. And I'm going, oh, you know the huts they have. And then there was two where the people weren't in them. So I had to lie on the ground in the shade to cool down. And he goes in like a little that puppy. Was, that was almost correct. But it wasn't me that stopped us walking and having to go for a swim. It was me. It was you that collapsed and that stopped us going for a walk. Too hot. How hot will it be in Tenerife, Andrea? Sorry. Sorry? How, how hot is it going to be in Tenerife? Two weeks. Yeah, how hot? Oh, how hot? Yeah, what will it be? Oh, no, that's good. Which I'm not you. No, it should be in the late 20s. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. That's still dodgy for you. Yeah, but they'll have air conditioning. Which part? Which part? Which part? Which part? Which part? Which part? Last America. I know it like I know Bridport. I go, we go there every time we go on holiday. All right. It's quick. It's there. And do you know everyone? Yeah, pretty much in the restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not jealous you're going on holiday, any of you, because I think that's important you go on holiday. However, you can always prepare for the worst weather. Think of Florida, what happened this week. <laughs> Your holiday destination that's covered in rain. So we're going to have a go with this one, I think. Because we did it the other day and I quite liked it. So ready for the storm, I think it is. <laughs> 